Vietnamese pho. Probably the most famous dish in Vietnam. Don't be deceived by how simple it seems. A lot goes into making pho. Thankfully, my mother-in-law is pretty amazing. Gong tong me. For today, I'll be using oxtail and beef short ribs, but you guys can use any beef cuts that you like. Manos a la obra. Wash your hands. Thoroughly wash any meat that you're using. I like to wash my meat with really hot water. Fill a large bowl with cold water, place your beef inside, and let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour, and this is going to help draw out a lot of the blood. After about 30 minutes of letting the beef rest, drain the water. You can actually see the blood that's come out of the beef, and give it one more rinse. Next, go through your meat and trim off any pieces of excess fat. Fill a pot with water. Set to high. Once the water is boiling, go ahead and add all of your beef. Cover. Allow to boil for about 15 minutes. Drain. What this step does is it removes a lot of the impurities. Thoroughly rinse your meat again. Be sure to scrub really well around the bone edges because there's a lot of debris that you don't want in your stock. Be sure to wash your hands before moving on to the next step. For our broth, these are the aromatics we'll be using. Onion, star anise, fennel seeds, whole cloves, coriander seeds, peppercorn, cinnamon sticks, black cardamom, ginger. On medium heat, we're going to toast our aromatic spices just until they release their fragrances. Transfer to a spice ball. If you don't have a spice ball like this, don't worry. You can also use a cheesecloth. Just be sure to tie it really, really well with cooking twine so your spices don't leak out. So I'm going to be using about a palm size of ginger. It's about the diameter of a golf ball. Thinly slice your ginger. Cut a medium sized onion in half. Lightly char the ingredients. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, don't worry. My mother-in-law actually likes to do this directly over a hot flame. Set aside and let's move on to the next step. Here are all of the ingredients that we'll be using to season our pho broth. To a clean stock pot, add all of your beef, our charred ginger, our charred onion, our charred cinnamon sticks, about a ping pong ball size of rock sugar, our spice ball with the aromatics, fish sauce, salt, Add about six liters or 24 cups of hot water. Turn your heat to medium high. Leave your stock pot uncovered. The first hour of cooking pho is the most important because you're going to want to keep skimming the surface of the stock to remove any impurities. You don't want this in your broth. This is why my mother-in-law says pho is a labor of love. After 30 minutes, you want to reduce your heat to medium low. You have to keep tending to the pot. This is why prepping your meat before cooking pho is really important because we removed a lot of the impurity before beginning the cooking process. So thankfully, we're not gonna have too much scum on top of our broth to remove. It's been about three hours since I first started cooking my pho broth. You can tell that some of the water is evaporated. So what I'm gonna do now is add about four more cups of water to the broth and it won't affect the integrity at all. All right guys, so my pho broth has been cooking for about five and a half hours. During the last 30 minutes of cook time, you're going to taste your broth, season it to your own personal liking. I like my pho broth to be a little sweeter, so I'm going to add some more rock sugar. Allow this to cook for another 30 minutes. After six hours, drain your broth. After draining your pho broth, set aside your meat. After a long six hours of cooking our pho broth, you should end up with a little less than three liters. What we're gonna do now is allow this to cool completely, set it in the fridge overnight, and in the morning, I'll show you the next step what we do. The morning after is when you're going to scum all of the solidified fat on top of the broth. This trick is what's gonna give you that really clear pho broth. So this is what your pho broth should look like after you scummed off all of the fat. For those of you guys who have never made a broth made from beef bones before, you may be surprised at how gelatinous this is, and I know it seems a little weird, but there's a reason for it. During the cooking process, the bones release collagen, and the collagen as it's cooking then becomes gelatin. So if you guys didn't know, that's what Jello and all of our favorite gelatin products are made from, beef bones. <laughs> so don't freak out when you see this gooiness. Once we heat this up again, it's going to liquefy and be amazing pho broth. Now we're going to reheat our cooked beef using the pho broth that we have. Add your cooked beef to a pot, add your pho broth, turn your heat to medium high, and you're going to leave this on the stove until it's at a rolling boil and all of the pho broth has liquefied. You can see here it's starting to liquefy. Leave it uncovered, thoroughly wash all of your vegetables, Drain your vegetables, thinly slice an onion, 
Place your onions inside a bowl. Add some ice water, a tablespoon of lime juice. Mix and set aside. What this does is take the bitterness away from the onion. Finally, chop some cilantro that we've washed. Set aside in a small bowl. Remove the white portion of the green onion. You can throw these away or you can dry them and then use them in an, another soup stock. Finally, chop some green onion. Set aside along with the cilantro. After about 30 minutes, drain your onions. To your white onion, add the cilantro and the green onions that we chopped earlier. This will be one of our toppings for our pho dish. I'm going to be using cooked Vietnamese meatballs as a topping in my dish. You can omit this if you want. If you do decide to use these, you should give them a rinse. Slice in quarters. Now, if you can't find rehydrated pho noodles, don't worry. There's another brand that I use. There's just another step to that process, and I'll leave that in the description box. We're going to blanch them in boiling hot water for just about 10 seconds, remove them, and immediately put in icy cold water before serving in our serving dishes. Place the desired amount of noodles inside a serving bowl. We're gonna place some oxtail, some short rib. And because my husband's spoiled, he gets two oxtails our meatballs, some of our vegetable toppings that we prepared earlier. For my husband, pho is not pho unless it has some very thinly sliced raw beef on top. For me, personally, I don't like this, but it's totally up to you guys to each their own. So what my husband tells me is that the beef, you push it way down to the bottom so it can cook. And now it's done. What my husband likes to do in a small dish is he puts some hoisin sauce along with some sriracha and a squeeze of lime juice and he uses that as a dipping sauce for the meats. We have some mint, sawtooth coriander, bean sprouts, Thai basil, but you can use anything that you want. Try it now, let's see if it's good. Real good. Restaurant quality. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. Love you too. Focus eat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more recipes. Bye-bye. Suerte.